Hey y'all, it's Rosie and in this video I'm going to show you how to make homemade creamed corn. If you would like the exact measurements, visit my blog iHeartRecipes.com. So I'm going to start off with my corn here. This is fresh corn. I'm just going to peel back all of the stuff. You know, I don't, what is the name of that? You're just going to pull back that crap. And then you're going to remove back or remove all of the corn silk, which is the little strands. I'm now going to rinse this under cool water. And don't forget, if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I upload every Sunday and Wednesday, just FYI. And now I'm headed back over to my countertop and I'm just going to cut all of the corn off of that cob. I'm using a regular old steak knife that works fine. So I do have some uh, corn silk in there that I was not able to get earlier. I'm just going to remove that. And now I'm headed over to my stove top. In this pan I poured in some bacon grease, okay? I just fried up some bacon, saved the grease, and now it's in that pan. And now I'm going to add in my corn. This pan is over medium heat. And now I'm just going to cook the corn until it is nice and tender. So once the corn starts to get tender, you're going to sprinkle in some all-purpose flour. Stir everything, make sure that the corn is nicely coated with the flour. And now I'm going to pour in some half and half. Now if you don't know what half and half is, it's a combination of half milk, half cream. You can add a little bit of milk and a little bit of cream if you want. So now I'm going to season this up. I'm using some cracked black pepper, a little bit of salt, and some sugar. I like it to be well seasoned, but have a tad bit of sweetness to it. And now all I have to do is cook this until it is nicely thickened. Now that looks good, but this looks even better. That's what you're going for. So now we're going to remove this from the pan, pour it into a bowl or wherever else you want to pour it into. And now you're ready to serve. It's really easy to make. You don't need the canned stuff or any of the other stuff. It does not taste as good as this. And like I said, it's so easy to make. So give this recipe a try. Tell me what you think. And visit me every Sunday and Wednesdays for new video uploads.